Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. Uh, this time it's going to be on navigation lights. So as you can see in the, on the ship I had in my last video, I've got a nice sort of set of uh, red and green blinking lights with uh, white on the, on the tail there. And these are just set to be on a, on a loop to, yeah, just do what you see doing there. Um, so this, um, this video is going to be about building up the circuitry, starting off the basic loop and timing the lights. Uh, then leading up to um, sort of having things controlled via hotkeys. So if I press 4, actually, first of all, if I turn on the, the view, so it shows there, message pops up, navigation lights shutting down. If I press 4 again, I get a message saying they're starting up, and it starts blinking. So if I switch them off, there we go. So this is all going to be about the logic building up to do those. So now I'll do a little bit of editing and get myself over to the uh, work area and uh, see you in a second. Right, so here we are at the uh, all the different logic. Uh, we're going to start off with a basic pattern um, or blinking of lights, extending that pattern, controlling, um, sort of switching it on and switching it off, adding in uh, messages so that uh, you, you get notified as to what's happening, and then finally doing alternate uh, side sort of blinks. So let's get back to the, the start here. Now we've got here the switch, which is starting it all off. That goes into sort of a, a starting block. And that is what's feeding from there into the initial pulses of the pattern. So that one is just going to send power to the timer as well as to the OR block in which you'd connect all your lights to. I use uh, OR blocks as a kind of junctions, really, because they're, they're quite handy. Because no matter where the pulse comes in from which it, whichever line, it'll send the, the power on. Now from that initial one there, as you saw, it goes into that timer block. That one's set to one second before then pulsing again to the light and to the overall loop control sort of timer there. Now that one, if I connect to there, then that, after four seconds, will continue the this whole sequence again. So if I start it off, I just missed it there a little bit wait four seconds and then it'll flash again and it'll just keep doing that now if you want to stop this one you do have to go up to the block and disconnect it so that all the, the sort of signals sort of peter out and yeah connect that back up again so with that sort of established on how to do the the initial pattern you can extend the pattern like of this one if I start it off it'll do a sequence of three blinks after four seconds, it should go again. There we go. And it has a sort of a, a, a quicker step in the middle there for that sequence. So again, you've got the starter block leads into the first of the, each of these. Um, again, 0 0.8 and that one's one. And each of them points to the block which controls the lights. After the last timer there, it goes into the loop timer, which itself goes back to the starter block. And that one as I said earlier, is four seconds. So that's these ones. Um, it's a bit frustrating if you always have to keep sort of breaking that link to, to stop it. Um, say you've landed, you want to turn off your navigation lights. Um, so what we do is we have added convenience in that we've now added in a switch and which acts as a toggle for the entire system and then an AND gate which will feed from that switch and from the sort of starter block over there. Um, the reason there's an extra timer there is because when you pulse the switch and send the AND gate, it, it'll receive a signal from that and go, yep, yeah, that's a signal there, but the switch at that instant will still be switched off. Even if you wired that uh, switch there to do it directly, it'll st still see that AND gate as only having one active out of the two links, and so it won't, won't pulse the signal. So. In the time it takes before that lifts up, we have it feed through a timer, which is set to 0.1, which flicks the switch. And in that instance, while the switch is still down, because just the how long it stays down when you press it, that AND gate, AND gate will receive a positive, positive signal from there and from there, and then send it through. And then from then on, it goes through the sequence reaches that end timer which feeds to there which then feeds there it'll if that switch is still on it'll keep the sequence going and then so that there if i press it so you can see that switch is switched on after four seconds that should pulse again there we go 
and it'll keep going because that AND gate is only fed from two places. The thing to remember of AND gates is they will, if all the links, if you've got two, three, twenty links going into it, it'll only send power along it if all of those links connecting into it are positive, have something going into them, which is why all my sequencing, sending power to there and a timer, all go through an all block, block first before going to there. So that's something to, to rem remember if you're going to have stuff working off an AND block. And there we go. So I can then press that, turns that switch off. There's a little bit of a glitch in the system because I've just pulsed, put another signal through, but it does eventually come to a stop. Now, if you're building this system in and you, you've got it so that you can't always exactly like properly see if it started or not, you can actually build in and use the um, warning message gates if I find them. So I don't think I've, I've only covered them a while back. There we go. A warning message gates. Now these, these, I didn't really think much of them until this doing this whole system. I thought, yeah, they're quite useful. So you can put in a message in them, set it so it pops up as a window, which gets in the way but that one there is quite useful so again similar setup as before the AND gate except this time that switch is feeding a ZOR I think it's a ZOR or NOR sorry yes so whatever input goes into it it changes it so if it's if there's a negative or no power in a way if you think of it being pulsed into it it'll pulse out and the same way of this one down below is just a normal OR block there we go so if I do that, it'll tell me navigation light started. That'll do its uh, pulses. So again, there we go. And then if I do that again, it'll say navigation light shutting down. So, you know, quite useful if you sat in a, in a spaceship. So you're either controlling the ship from the yoke and you, like I did with the ship at the beginning, I'd press four, it'll activate everything and I get a nice message that it's doing it. So let's move along to the last one. Uh, and this is essentially just adding in another sort of uh, timer sequence. So from that AND block there, which feeds into the system, it's going to the timer sequence, which does eventually get to there, uh, to the, the whole loop timer. But at the same time, that AND is feeding into a second timer block, which just sends a signal to that timer sequence there. The last timer block there doesn't go to anything. so doesn't um, create a duplication of signals. Everything's just from there, um, from that loop timer to that starter block, feeds into the AND block, which is confirming if that's on or off, and then to there, into the rest of it. So that one there, I think, is actually set to two seconds. And again, messaging system in there. So if I press, that one starts up, that one goes there. And if you get the sequence just right, I think uh, for that one there, versus the times of everything you can get them to flip-flop quite nicely and there you go that's um how you set up your own little navigation system i mean the whole thing itself could be also used if you want to do a, like a red alert lights in your ship um so if you're multiplying or something like that you've got crew on your ship who like connected to different yokes on a ship for either turrets or con controlling engineering and stuff like that you can sort of push a hub key and uh, just set off a whole red alert across the entire ship, red lights flashing everywhere. Everybody knows to get to their stations and prepare for combat. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is just essentially a time, a repeating timer circuit with a, with a toggle and message system. So apply it to any which way you want. So hopefully you found some use out of this video. Hopefully it made sense because I, I confused myself at times really trying to trying to get this one recorded. And uh, yeah. So uh, see you in the next one.